Hello everyone, this is Magbo Gaming here and in case you're hearing a wind sound and a little disturbing, well I have this on right now just because it's very hot right now, let's just put it that way. And I'm still saving up for air conditioner so I just want to let you know. Today's topic, we're going to start pumping more of these gaming discussion videos because I know that a lot of people are very interested in these type of topics especially what's going on today i mean the ps5 video really got a bunch and a bunch of views like within the first week it was almost like 2000 views wow thanks a lot for your support guys i appreciate it and the fact that we're over 920 subs already we're getting very close to a thousand guys magmar is gonna have his beanie very soon and I gotta figure out like how I'm gonna put a beanie on a magmar. But let's get on to the topic of this video. So the topic of this video is gonna be looking back into GameStop Puerto Rico. Nobody's talking about this whatsoever. Um, you know, a retrospective or whatsoever. Like you look up GameStop Puerto Rico, you're gonna see videos from like eight years ago or something like that when GameStop was about to close down. But nobody has really talked about like what happened, what's the aftermath of all this, like what are we Puerto Ricans? Yes, I'm Puerto Rican, I live in Puerto Rico, and GameStop has left the island back in 2016, March of 2016. So it's been a little over 8 years already now. I can't believe it's been that much time already, I'm like, nowadays the only time I ever go to GameStop is whenever I travel to the States. That's the only way. So the time that I actually do travel, that's why I am very bent on actually visiting GameStop because now, like I know that like since GameStop left, I remember the times when GameStop Puerto Rico was here. Literally more than 80% of the inventory were still games pretty much. And you can see like the Switch hasn't even came out yet at the time. So Switch was not even a thing. It was we were just thinking about Nintendo NX at the time. Wow, dang! Like they left before the Switch even came out. Like if they could have waited, these guys. The reason they left was because of the Puerto Rico taxes going out of control. Okay, like I was saying, guys, GameStop, Puerto Rico. They decided to close down every single store in the entire island back in March of 2016 because of the taxes in Puerto Rico and GameStop's like, oh, we're not gonna pay all these taxes. Screw you, screw Puerto Rico. We're done with you guys. We're leaving the island. They didn't even try to cope with it and see how they could make it work and all that stuff. They could have survived. Like, especially if they waited out like less than a year later when the Switch comes out, they could have been doing just fine. And then eventually, you know, they have a lot of merchandise that sells like crazy. Look at this. Now after GameStop led, there are a bunch of independent gaming stores that popped up across the entire island. Thanks to GameStop leaving, we have Game on Magic West, we got Game on Atijo, we got Game World. They all came after GameStop left, by the way. We have Gallery Games. We got, I think most of the video was around before GameStop left, if I'm not mistaken. There were a few independent gaming stores in the Metro, but there were not as much as here. It was only GameStop, Toys R Us at the time. They were still around until 2018 and Walmart still around today in Puerto Rico but here's my problem with the whole GameStop thing ever since GameStop left at least in Aguadilla where I live there hasn't been an actual game store that replaced it like it has never happened the only thing that kind of replaced it was Game World in Isabella which is a town away from where I am so my issue with this whole thing is that it's not the same anymore there's not as much game stores to search for retro games or trade-ins and stuff like that because there used to be so much trade-ins and stuff and now I'm looking at the GameStops since 2022, 2023 they started once again taking in retro games like they're trying to keep taking in all sorts of retro games and I wish that GameStop was still around so I could be able to discover these new retro games have more options, more places to go to so I could hunt these games down because that would have been a lot of fun, honestly. Another thing that sucks about GameStop leaving. Amiibos don't exist in Puerto Rico anymore. What do I mean by that? Walmart don't stock Amiibos anymore. I heard that there was a huge restocks of Amiibos recently for the Smash Brothers one. GameStop has stocked some of these stuff still to this day. 
because when I visited GameStop not so long ago in New York City, the only GameStop that's still open in Manhattan from what I understand, because the other two that I know of, they're both closed now. They actually had a bunch of, well, they have a decent amount of Amiibos. They restocked them regularly. Like I literally would have actually had Pyro and Mithra by now at retail price if GameStop was still here. So that's another problem I have with GameStop leaving. It was the retail store. Yeah, a lot of people hated GameStop. A lot of people think that GameStop ripped people off and I fully agree. The whole GameStop debacle with their stocks going up like crazy and then going straight down as well. GameStop is not in a good position. But I think that's why they're selling lots of merchandise. They're bringing out retro games again. And a lot of people have shown YouTube videos of these retro games being in decent prices than most of the other places, especially online, especially even on eBay. They still have some better prices than some eBay listings. And that's what I definitely ha am missing out of right now as a video game hunter, a video game collector. And I guess if you want to call me a reseller, kinda, just for the fact that, okay, if I buy a game that I do not like or I already have doubles off and they're super underpriced, sure, I'll buy them, I resell them, get a little profit, and build up more of my game collection with that profit. That's what I do with them for the most part, honestly. That's uh, what's overcome with it. We do have game stores. We could kind of get by without GameStop. I mean, there's Switch games everywhere in Puerto Rico. But the factors that I say that Amiibos are literally like very rare to come by here in Puerto Rico. There is only one game store that kind of sells them. Well, maybe there's two that I remember. Yeah, one is uh, Museo de Videojuego. They have Amiibo stocks. And the other one is Anime Locker PR in Mayagüez. They have some Amiibo stocks as well. But do they stock up new Amiibos? They actually don't, from what I know. Maybe they do a little bit, but not too much. Why? Because the way I see there are pretty much Amiibo stocks that are pretty old. Nice, that, nice to see that we can find some classic Amiibo we couldn't find. But I'm still salty that I couldn't find Pyra Mifra literally anywhere. So I may have to actually buy it online at inflated prices. We'll see about that. Now that it has been 8 years since GameStop Puerto Rico has been pretty much dead here, doesn't exist anymore. There are over 35 locations here in Puerto Rico or something like that. And all 35 have closed down. And that really sucks because honestly, they could have sticked around a little bit more. That's the sad truth about this whole thing. They could have actually sticked around a little bit longer and they decided, oh nope. To Puerto Rico, we're leaving, fend for yourself and all that stuff. And we got some game stores, but if you're trying to find one in Aguadilla, good luck on that because they don't exist. I, unless you want to talk about Toys and Games Alley, they do sell Switch games and new PS5 releases, but they're not nowhere in the level of GameStops, how they stock their gear. Nowhere near. So yeah, you get the idea. The only one that's probably near to the stocking new stuff and have retro games, Honestly, yeah, Game World is far better in retro gaming stocks than GameStop will ever be, obviously. But the fact of the matter is, is that they don't have to compete with everyone. Yep. So the virtual gaming stores, they could price however they want. They never update the prices on certain games that should be having a price cut like GameStop did. So we're seeing like, uh, for example, Scarlet's Nexus. Yeah, 2022, it was already down to 20 bucks for a brand new copy. And yet most of the game stores here in Puerto Rico are still selling it for like 60 bucks for a brand new copy. Maybe $40, but no lower than that. And that's a problem because they don't have competition. They don't feel the need to actually lower the prices in order to sell it. They take their time to sell the stuff. And I do have a problem with that as well. So what do I think about this whole thing? I honestly lost hope in GameStop ever coming back here. I know that for a fact. So whenever I visit the States and stuff like that, I definitely look to see if there's any nearby GameStops for me to visit. So I could like hunt games there. What really breaks my heart, seeing the Switch stocks and seeing the PS4 and PS5 stocks over there in GameStops in the States, that there are a, a good handful of games that I have never seen here in Puerto Rico. Like literally never seen like these underrated gems and stuff like that that in order for me to know about it I had to literally go to a website and to, to look for it I mean kind of game world fills the void in a lot of the limited run games and sea of stars and all that stuff Well Walmart stocking sees the stars now so it's actually more popular than I thought 
but you get the idea. Anyways, guys, what do you guys think about this GameStop Puerto Rico eight years later retrospective video? And my little rant on it too, why the gaming market is not the same here in Puerto Rico, but we are seeing a rise of a lot of like independent gaming stores, which I love visiting, which this is why this channel is created. So I could introduce a lot of these retro video games around the island to you guys. And I have a couple more coming on the way. I don't know when that's gonna happen, but when it does, I'm pretty sure you're gonna enjoy it. So, you know, looking around, um, uh, there's a lot of great retro gaming stores here in Puerto Rico. I mean, there's a good handful of them, but since they're not competing with retail stores or anything like that, the prices tend to be a little bit high, quite high, and they don't update prices as often as GameStop did. Because GameStop will always update prices like every month to make sure that they stay competitive with price charting or the, if Nintendo lowers the price officially, which they never do, but you get the idea. They're probably gonna still take a while to lower the prices on their end too. But then again, if it's Nintendo, they will lower it right away. If it's like other gaming stores, it doesn't matter. They'll keep the prices at retail as long as they possibly can. So what you think about this? If you're Puerto Rican and you miss GameStop, comment below your thoughts. If you wanna see the video <coughs> tours of what GameStop looked like back in early 2016, right before they closed, I have a couple videos on my archive channel that you could check out also in the description below so you can check for yourself and also a rant video of when the news came out as well so you get the idea i hope that you find some nostalgia because it's been over eight years like time really flew by really quick and i really miss gamestop being here honestly i still do i mean i'm already used to not having it here but at the same time i would have had a lot more game stores to actually hunt for game styles if it weren't for them leaving because retro game stores across the island are few and far between not every single towns in puerto rico has a retro gaming store or a video game store in general at all nothing like corporate has ever replaced gamestop here at all because gamestop was the monopoly that's what happens when there's a monopoly nothing else is going to be able to replace it so the independent gaming stores are kind of trying to do it but they're pretty slow Game On is probably gonna be hopefully expanding like they haven't expanded since 2020 but they tried to expand a little bit respect to them but bring one to Aguariza please you know Gabi the game owner if you're watching this video now try to make Game On Aguariza happen Game On San Juan I guess too for those people and you know try to expand it if you can I know it's hard the economy is bad but if you're able to pull it off I know you can eventually anyway that's all i have to say i'll see you all in the next time magbo gaming says i hope you enjoyed the hunt i hope you find the games you're looking for if you're from puerto rico and you don't have gamestop i hope they have a video game retro gaming store nearby that you're able to go to or if you're someone like me that literally travels across the island for these gaming stores then i hope that you'll have the access to do that too because let's be honest this economy kind of makes it hard for us to always be able to go around the island and visit these stores but Whatever your situation is, a lot of people are buying online these days and you know that's basically most people. Most people are doing that. Physical media is dying and that's why there's not as much gaming stores as they used to be. But you know, so someone like me, I still appreciate it. And that's why I still support them in this channel. I'll see you all in the next time. Oh yeah, and one more fact before I go, I'm sorry. If it weren't for GameStop closing down, I wouldn't have this whole gaming store tours that I've been doing for the last several years. It's all because of GameStop leaving. Because I want people to know that there are other gaming stores out there you can visit and be able to buy games from locally, physical copies, and everything like that. You don't have to just be digital about it. And yep, I still got this GameStop band right here, wristband. GameStop, power to the players. Until next time. Magbo Gaming out. Bye bye. If you enjoyed this video, check out my other related videos here as well. I also have a Discord server you can join for the video game collecting community and an Instagram you can follow as well. I even got some merch you may want to check out my T Public link below. Hope to see you again soon.